Welcome to another Simple Truth. Listen, I don't know how you are looking at this whole political season, this this whole debate thing, but the other night I was watching the debates, and I was telling people over the last couple days that the debate itself, uh, the two candidates for, for president, uh, really didn't surprise me. Both of them ended up being pretty much the, the way that I had expected them to be. But something struck me about what the moderator said at, at one point. Now, I want to read a verse for you, a couple verses out of Galatians chapter 5. Very familiar verses, but starting verse 7, it says, You are running a good race. Who hindered you from obeying the truth? Who caught in on you? This persuasion is not from him who calls you. A little leaven, a little yeast, leavens the whole lump. A little bit leavens everything. And I was struck by that because there was a part where the, where the moderator he was looking at one of the candidates and, and he was telling him that he needed to quit interrupting uh, the other candidate, qu talking over the other candidate. Now, that's a good thing to say because we want to be able to hear. That, that's the whole idea of a debate is what is one candidate saying, what is the other? But when that candidate looked to the moderator and said, hey, what about the other candidate? Are you going to tell him the same thing? The moderator's response brought me right here. And it was, his response was, well, he's not doing it as much as you are. And I was taken aback by that, struck out of the entire 90 minutes. That's the thing that stuck out to me because it, it brought to mind the fact that this is the philosophy that, that some people have. Sadly, it's the philosophy that some Christians have. And Paul reminds us that a little bit affects the whole and so you and I, if we're not careful, we're going to have this same philosophy that the moderator had. That a little bit of sin doesn't matter. No, a little bit of sin affects our whole relationship with God. Matter of fact, Jesus said it hinders the prayers. It can, it can hinder our communication with God. We don't walk around saying, hey, a, a little bit of lying is okay, but a lot of lying is not. A little bit of murder or killing people isn't. But, but a lot is. And this is what the moderator really was trying to say. Like, hey, a little bit of interrupting. Well, that's okay, but you're doing it a lot. You're not, this person's not doing it as much. No, interrupting is interrupting. If it's wrong for one candidate, well, it's wrong for the other candidate. It doesn't matter how much you're doing. It's the philosophy that brings us to our simple truth. A, a little bit of sin right, ruins the whole thing. God tells us that it it's doesn't matter how much sin you have. All sin keeps us out of relationship with God. And so you shouldn't be looking at it as, to, hey, that person's sinning more than me and I'm sinning less. You should be looking at it as it doesn't matter how much I'm sinning. I still have a need for Jesus. All of Jesus. So a little bit of sin puts me in need of a lot of Jesus. A lot of sin puts me in need of a lot of Jesus. It doesn't matter which one it is. We need to be careful that as Christians, we're not buying what this philosophy sells. Because somehow we're going to get to heaven and, and God's going to stand up and he's measuring stick of our sin and say, ah, oh, well, you're only, you only measure up to an inch of sin. But this person, man, this person matches up to, a, to tons of sin. No, that, that's not how it's going to work. So I'm going to challenge you on this simple trip to, to think simply. All sin is hinders our relationship with God. Hindrance in our relationship with God is going to stop us from being effective. So if you want to be effective, just like if these candidates wanted to be effective at their message, getting their message across to other people, they should have let each other talk. But a little bit of interruption, that ruins the whole thing. A lot certainly ruins the whole thing. So I challenge you to inspect your own life. N not like the candidates did, look at the other one. Not like the moderator did, hey, I've decided this person is, is a lot and this person's a little, so this person's better. Inspect your life, not, not in accordance to what other people are doing. Don't compare. Inspect your life, the sin within your life, that little bit of yeast that's in your life. Compare that with the sin that's in Jesus. And Jesus had no sin. That means that we're in need of him. Because if your life doesn't match up with Jesus, then you have a need for Jesus. 
it, it doesn't matter if you have a lot of sin or a little sin. A little sin is going to keep you away from heaven. You're not getting to heaven because you're a good person. You're going to get to heaven when you're a godly person. I was telling somebody that today that I can remember sitting uh, with my camp director and I was a counselor and he sat down with me one day. He said, Andy, you're a good person. You're a good counselor. I'm just not so sure that you're a godly counselor. Now, fortunately, he was willing to fix that. But, you know, up until that point, I don't have any recollection of anybody asking me when or how I had ever received Jesus into my heart. I went to church my whole life. They just assumed. I just assumed that I was a Christian because I went to church. The problem is that if I had passed away before that moment, I'm, I'm not so sure that there wouldn't have been a little bit of sin in my life that would have kept me from heaven. You don't get to heaven because you're a good person. You get to heaven because you're a godly person. God cannot withstand even a little bit of sin within heaven or near him. Thank God he made a way so that when you and I are standing in front of him, in all of our dirty rags, with all of our sin, little bit or a lot, if we have accepted Jesus as our personal Savior, then guess what? And Jesus steps in front of us, and that's who God sees, doesn't see where we are, who we are. So I want to remind you, a little bit of yeast leavens the whole thing. 